Ok, questa è la seconda parte della lezione di 30. Io adesso condivido lo schermo per vedere, per esempio, il teorema di Lagrange. Proviamo a vedere come affronto, perché qualche volta anche io non conosco qualche nozione matematica e cerco di uh, capire. Certo, cerco il libro, io metterò i miei appunti, come ho promesso. Adesso mi serve qualcosa tipo teorema di Lagrange. Uh, dove vado? Abbiamo detto Mr. Google. Qui c'è un sito importantissimo, si chiama Wiki, e sono piuttosto cose mh, uh, che sono verificate dal punto di vista scientifico. Una Lagrange Theorem. Proviamo a vedere che cosa esce. Vedete lo schermo? Sì, sì. Ok. Come vedete mi fido a Wikipedia. E qui c'è, proviamo a vedere, no, 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 questo non è analisi 1, deve essere Lagrange Theorem, non è, allora a questo punto metto, visto che sono sovrapposizione, analysis, perché questo è teoria di, ha scritto tante cose Lagrange. Ah, questo è complex. Ok, eccolo l'affermazione. Se la funzione è continua nell'intervallo AB, limitato e chiuso, è differenziabile dentro l'intervallo aperto, allora questo quoziente, this quotient that we already have written, f y 1 minus f y 2 divided by y 1 minus y 2 is represented as derivative of a point that is inside our interval. For example, if you have a um, uh, uh, list of notions uh, around which I can, uh, for example, use Wikipedia and prepare for you more concretely answers, this also shall be uh, something useful. You see, this is uh, the part, but sometimes uh, probably you should have difficulty um, to find uh, this, is, uh, this Lagrange theorem. And that's why uh, I now I am repeating the Lagrange theorem in uh, Wikipedia. And uh, in the future we can use uh, this um, Uh, uh, type of um, explanation of some of the notions in such a way that uh, you can have also permanence and you can uh, see what, what is the meaning of, uh, for example, in this case, uh, Lagrange theorem. So here I, I try to uh, repeat this Lagrange theorem. And as you can see, the problem is that uh, uh, sometimes uh, the names are uh, not very well written. For example, now it is Lagrange mean value theorem. They changed the name, not Lagrange theorem, but Lagrange mean value theorem. Therefore, we shall uh, avoid uh, complicated use, but uh, we can, uh, for example, refer to some only the parts of the analysis that are really necessary for our qualitative study of um, the models. Therefore, stop me when I put some name that is not uh, known or forgotten. I am, uh, shall stop and shall try to clarify it. Maybe can be helpful if we have don't know, just two or three lessons in which we uh, we see the um, things from analysis one. Maybe okay. that I don't know the basis of just 
the things that are more difficult to do by our by your own i don't know if with um, um with the dispenser we can just read that exactly. uh, okay. i also have the same feeling therefore my proposition is the following without repeating the whole course of analysis one let us uh, now see are the notions from analysis one you have difficulty for example no i see lagrange theorem shall be included in uh, such a lesson uh, we shall have uh, a little bit uh, to say something about uh, um, role theorem role lagrange and cauchy also uh, like a fun i can say that uh, uh, in my garden there are seven cats and uh, some of them we called uh, lagrange cauchy and um, uh, role therefore <laughs> it is a very easy way to remember the theorems but of course the cats they are not guilty for this so we shall try to make a kind of a small lecture uh accumulating of the values uh, but uh, i have the following uh, question to prepare better my uh, lecture to three hours uh, then I need uh, from you to give uh, with your help list of notions that uh, you think uh, has to be refreshed one is clear lagrange roi cauchy uh, one uh, for the moment uh, i think taylor taylor formula and i think uh, from analysis that's all uh, we shall get a little bit things from the matrices matrices have been studied or how what is the situation two by two matrix can you find eigenvalue Excuse me, what do you mean by matrices? Table, two by two. Table. Le matrici, prof. Come? Matrici? Matrici, sì. Uh, no. Io personalmente no. You, have, you never see uh, matrices? I have seen that just in one course that was... Uh, about um, informatics and but we, we just say what they are but i actually have no idea about rules okay oh okay. therefore for this we shall devote uh, because these are uh, relatively simple things when you have a system of two equations with two uh, variables you have to solve it and this is done also high school i think uh I, I don't know because we we are from different schools but to give you an idea of of course during uh, my bachelor and i think also in biology course we just uh, talk about um derivate integrali and how to solve them but we don't mm, spend so much time on uh, theorems and uh, um, maybe demonstration. Yeah, we do, but we we have not the the basis that um, can have an engineer or maybe someone from math course because we have just uh, the math that we need. Uh, I don't know in genetics or in very basic course. So I yes yes yeah. understand. Therefore, uh, we have um, uh, this, uh, 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 this thing I shall take into account. And um, if we want to study, because in the program uh, this was uh, proposed to study ordinary models connected with uh, ordinary differential equations, I shall have some introduction how you can uh, uh, systems that uh, they have two uh, on, uh, variables and for this probably yes we shall have a small refreshment uh, this uh, I can do um, uh, I think the next week uh, we can start uh, and partial introduction uh, we shall have, uh, the next week 
uh, how to go to mm, from one equation to two equations because uh, we uh, uh, for the simplest uh, models of two pre, uh, predator prey uh, model we need two unknown functions and then uh, we have uh, to see how behaves uh, the solution geometrically how it behaves and uh, to say what will happen in the future with the population uh, everybody will die or some will remain what what is the um, uh, qualitative behavior of the solution but this we shall do taking into account what you said how um, turning from the sharing let me to clarify the basis okay let us try to see what is necessary to be introduced but uh, before going further um, uh, here you have some concrete uh, turning back to this picture because this is only picture qualitative behavior uh, do you have something from mathematical point of view that is not clear in order to clean and to start this discussion for your basis. We shall repeat this uh, example in the future, therefore you shall have possibility to apply. Okay, let us now see what shall be the plan see but in this case i would most of you to participate in our discussion because somebody can see in this somebody know we can uh, of course uh, have uh, concerning the proofs i also plan for less possible to proofs it's uh, clear but somehow some practical uh, abilities uh, they are necessary as i told you from the beginning to have common language in the future with mathematicians actually we have uh, two main uh, directions from where we need uh, a little bit uh, to know one is analysis what you said me i understand that you know the definition of the derivative of the function but if you have the product of two functions what is the derivative of the product you know let's see if you have uh, made uh, such exercises Or you haven't seen such formula it's the sum no this is product if you have the sum it is very easy the of the sum is sum of derivative but when you have product of two functions how you how you compute the derivative If you never seen, tell me. I simply want to accumulate um, a little bit some questions. I think I have seen that, but I don't remember. Maybe just okay. Okay. So for the other students, somebody can say something. Derivative of the product of two functions. How it's same computed? for me too. I have seen it, but I can't remember anything. So, this uh, we have to put some f prime of x, gx, 
plus g plus fx g prime plus. this is the rule for the diff of the product we have uh, the quotient fx divided by gx what is the derivative? I imagine this is the same situation, so I shall put uh, the formula directly. This is a prime of x, g of x, minus f, g prime of x, divided by g x squared. This is uh, the rule for derivative of uh, um, quotient of two functions and uh, the other is crucial from the analysis when you have um, function of a function so-called composed function to make the derivative you call this epsilon h of x and in order to compute the derivative of our function this is another notion of the derivative. you take f prime of epsilon then you substitute epsilon with hx and then you multiply by h prime of x this probably uh, is necessary to be uh, we have to add some examples and you can uh, uh, compute so sine of x squared this is composed function one is sine of epsilon so according to this rule i have to take derivative of the sine so this is cosine and I have to put at the beginning epsilon, but we said I have to substitute epsilon with the expression in x times the derivative of x to the power 2. What is the derivative of x to the power 2? This two. Is yes. two x. Exactly. So slowly, slowly you shall refresh a little bit this uh, of uh, knowledge and try to be very close to this minimum this is for the derivative of the function what we need so in the uh, lecture notes i shall put uh, this formula because uh, i think uh, probably you don't uh, remember well uh, this formula another important thing that uh, we shall need uh, our calculations so this shall i shall in the uh, analysis one lecture course and uh, we shall have also necessary to take function of x and see if we know uh, that this function is uh, has derivatives how we can approximate this function with uh, something simpler and the simplest uh, approximation is called Taylor approximation formula the Taylor I shall write is the you take uh, your x and you are asking x is close to which value we shall take for simplicity x is close to zero so what is taylor formula when x is close to zero approximately the first approximation is f0 when the function is uh, very nice function continuous differentiable then if it is continuous, fx goes to f0. So there is an error, and we have to see what is the error. Then we have plus 
Next term is given by first derivative in zero multiplied by x divided by one. I'm writing one, then you shall that uh, this is helpful. So as you can see, this is better approximation with this is polynomial function in x, but again we have remainder and we have to go further. So Taylor says, suppose second derivative. So we can write here plus second derivative in zero x squared divided by two factorial. Two factorial, you know what is? Yes. N factorial, yes, okay. Yes. You compute second derivative, x squared divided by two. Very good. But still you have remainder. You need better and better approximation. So next term, imagine what shall be. Instead of second derivative, I shall take the... The third derivative. Third derivative, so we have f. Three derivative in zero, x to the power three over three factorial. And let me write R3, this remainder, which is very, very small. And Taylor says that in this way, you can proceed. And uh, um, estimate uh, the remainder. Uh, practically, your remainder should be uh, very, very small. Uh, if you need I don't ask you, but we can write uh, what is the error. This is uh, smaller than uh, x to the power 4 with some constant. So this means that uh, our remainder uh, is uh, of order higher than this exponent because we know that the next term is the fourth derivative x to the power four. That's why we simplify this without putting the essential part. So the essential part is this one. This is first order, second order, third order. Remainder is a fourth order because of this estimate. And uh, this is very important. So, you can simplify your function using the Taylor expansion. I think uh, here we shall prepare a little bit uh, lecture with exercises. Sign x, make Taylor expansion. Sign x, make Taylor expansion. For this, I think we can make, uh, 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 as I uh, proposed, uh, first to put in uh, uh, our home page uh, a little bit uh, lecture notes of course uh, you shall not be afraid of these lecture notes because they are prepared for uh, engineering students but we shall use pieces of these lectures such that uh, when you need for example development of sinix you can do this but you can be also more um, clever to use your uh, laptops uh, or your uh, uh, mobile phones, uh, you can uh, put your function and then program can give you automatically the expansion. Therefore, it is important all the principles, then for numerical stuff, probably you shall become better special than me because uh, uh, in internet there are really software that is quite helpful. Somehow some basic, uh, Taylor elementary functions can be expanded uh, uh, as Taylor expansion. So I think these uh, are the things we shall need essentially, the basic things, together with the integration. But for integration, uh, as we decided, we have the table for integrals and then a little bit exercise. Repeat some of the exercises for integrals. Uh, I think uh, these are the most important things from the analysis we shall need. Uh, as for Lagrange theorem, uh, I'm sure this uh, was uh, simply, uh, it was uh, necessary to say that uh, if you have uh, one interval AB, uh, 
actually Lagrange theorem is uh, a way to prove this uh, uh, theorem because uh, Taylor expansion, because uh, if we stop to this uh, uh, part, or if you prefer to R3, let us write R3 in more precise way, R3 of x is exactly four derivative of the function x to the power divided by four factorial, but this is not in zero. The remainder, if we take our interval like this, is a point C that is intermediate point between zero and X. So C goes to interval between zero and X. Of course, here we stopped on the fourth term. If you don't mind, I can stop here. So, for example, uh, if I want to stop to say this is our remainder, then I get the Taylor formula as first approximation in the following way fx is f0. Now I stop here. I shall do it. I shall write this f prime x divided by one factorial, but here I shall put this c. So this is my remainder if I want to stop here. So first we shall decide where to stop in Taylor. I stop up to the power x to the power 3. Then the next term is power 4 in a point that is inside the interval. If we stop here, then the remainder is exactly this guy, constant c that in the interval between 0 and x. Therefore, Lagrange, this is Lagrange, that coincides with Taylor. When you have up to, four, up to order 0. When you expand Taylor up to order 0, this is exactly Lagrange theorem. And, uh, of course, the uh, theorem to have meaning, this means the function is differentiable and uh, well-defined in the interval 0x. From time to time, we shall need, uh, instead of uh, expanding the function uh, close to 0, we shall expand the function close to some other point. To avoid uh, writing too much, I shall simply write here x0. So my 0 becomes x0. So if this is x0, everything is changing. 0 is x0. And the remainder is the same. The only thing um, since we shifted uh, our 0 to some point x0, I have to modify also x. So here we have to add x minus x0. This shall be x minus x0 square. And since probably you cannot see well, I propose to clean everything and write with x0 and x the Taylor formula. So you shall have our previous formula where x0 is 0, but when it is gen generic x0, let me more carefully the Taylor expansion, and this is more general Taylor expansion that is useful for us. So, we said x is close to x0, so with fx fx0. If we stop on zero term, the next term 
shall be x minus x0 to the power 1 divided by 1 factorial, and then we have f prime of c. So this is the simplest Taylor formula stopping at zero term. Where is c? Here, c belongs to interval defined by x0 and x. Let us make our picture more adapted. So this is our x0, this is our x. If this is on the left, this interval is x, x0. Is if x is on the right, our interval is x, 0, x. That's why we wrote c belongs to this interval somewhere here. Okay, so this is Taylor up to order up to order 0, because we stopped here. x minus x, 0 is on the power 0. And Taylor so up to order zero, other, in other way, is called Lagrange theorem. How we can transform this relation? This is one, divide, put x zero on the left, and then get fx minus fx zero, divided by x minus x is f prime of c. And this is exact Lagrange theorem. Now, we want to go further, up to order 1. What we shall do to go up to order 1? What is the modification? Modification is very simple. I c by x0. And then the remainder shall be second if x minus x0 to the power 2 divided by 2 factorial. And after I have to take some c, a second of some c, where c is some of this interval. And this is our Taylor up to order 1. Because up to this guy, we have linear function. The remainder is x minus x0 to the power 2. Very small. When we are close, square of x minus x zero is really very uh, small. Okay, let me ask you if to this moment um, uh, you follow and uh, the argument is clear or you have question? Can I ask something about uh, uh, Taylor in general? Uh, you can continue up to um, order n, I mean, uh, yes, in theory, exactly. you can, okay. Yes, but before going to order n, let us go up to order 2, and then we shall generalize. But I am asking if till the moment everything is clear, that we expand up to order 1. Now we go to up to order what we have to do. So, again, c shall be replaced by 0. And the next term shall be third derivative in this point c, x minus six zero to the power three by three five. This guy is even smaller and smaller because you have x minus six zero to the power three. So what we can do when up to order n? It's very simple. Plus point, 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 plus. Now I shall put derivative up to order n. This shall become n. This shall become n factorial. And you see here you have some zero order, first order, n order. And now we have here n plus 1 derivative. This becomes n plus 1 becomes n plus 1. So 
This is uh, the, for the Taylor formula up to order n. In most of the cases for sine, cosine, we can even go further and write infinite series, but we shall not speak about series. We need concrete calculations, so this is okay for us. In most of the cases, uh, we shall have expansion up to zero order uh, or up to first order. This is important for, for our ODE models for uh, uh, their prey uh, uh, models or uh, models connected with um, Kuramoto equation. We shall have uh, the necessity to make Taylor expansions. Okay, uh, let me uh, again uh, stop and uh, ask you for your uh, feedback. Uh, is it clear? Do you understand? Probably we shall need some examples, exercises. So if you have questions, this is the moment to also to pose your questions. Probably this is the most um, important point needed for our uh, for the first part of the course. And um, I think uh, here to stop uh, the arguments for analysis and uh, turn back to uh, other point that shall be useful uh, for us. Also in probability, we shall have uh, a little bit necessity for this. Um, part, uh, namely uh, integrals, uh, how to compute some integrals. But uh, for this, I think the best solution is to have our uh, uh, lecture notes for the first course in an hour. And then when we have concrete problems to see, because this is kind of received. If you recognize concrete integral, then you go to the section of our lecture notes and you see how you compute this integral. What is the formula? What is the approach? Therefore, uh, also for integral, are nice uh, software and this can be done. But basis, uh, probably we have to uh, discuss during our lectures. And with this, I want to uh, say that uh, essentially uh, that's all that we need from analysis. Of course, we have to go to some details and re repeat, but uh, I think with the help of um, uh, lecture notes uh, uh, and especially on your, uh, I'm uh, counting, um, hoping uh, you shall uh, say me, okay, this is what we need, this is missing, let us see this part and we shall try. Because this is the usual way, also engineering students, also mathematicians, also professors, they study how there are some pieces that are left open, so they uh, refresh uh, the notes that are uh, unknown ones, and uh, step by step uh, you complete these uh, unknown points, and we can go further together, not uh, uh, for this, please, to ask me your uh, troubles, your uh, questions. Uh, I have to, uh, before going, uh, do you, during uh, our uh, lectures, did you find something from analysis that was not mentioned here? Maybe we can have a look on your dispense and then maybe we can tell you the next time if there is something that we don't know or remember. Yes, and we can uh, put, uh, I can present, uh, uh, if this is essential thing, I can present uh, like Taylor form formula uh, today. Thank you very much. Okay, no, no problem. This is important that you are very active and you ask me adapts and um, necessities to uh, refresh part of mathematics. I am zero in the part of medicine, therefore I can understand that uh, if you enter a new field, uh, it's difficult to be uh, a top specialist immediately. 
but uh, we'll go together. Okay, another thing that I want to mention is the following, that we shall need, and I shall put uh, probably, this is one important thing, uh, to have minimum of information. from the uh, linear algebra. Uh, I can start with something very simple. If you have an uh, equation how you can solve uh, this two by two system there are unknown variables and knowns are x and y uh, how you can find of course uh, uh, you can find it manipulating uh, the equations reduced to linear equation because for the linear equation everything uh, is very simple a0 a0 you can find x uh, somehow <laughs> a part of the manipulations for uh, this, I can call it system one, we can build a kind of a table which is composed by two minus three. So first line are these, first, second line are three, two. And this table, uh, two by two, shall be called uh, to matrix that uh, is important. Then we can take uh, this couple x, y, and we can call this vector because uh, when you have a vector in the plane, this vector has coordinates and interpret x, y as coordinate of a vector. So if you make a small picture, this is x, y, you take your x, you take your y, and this is your vector v, with coordinates x and y. And then, uh, of course, you can also consider uh, v, this vector 10, As you can see, uh, this can be considered as two by two matrix. This is also um, one by two, one by two matrix, but we can call vector vector. So we can rewrite our equation in this form. A applied to V equal to the vector B. So what is the meaning of A apply to the vector v, or if you prefer the product, we simply here um, interpret this system in the following way. When you take 2 minus 3, 3, 2, and when you apply to x, y, what is the rule? You take the first line and multiply the column. What does it mean? Component by component. This by this shall be our first component. So we have to take this line multiplied by this column. What is the result? We said this line by this is component by component. 2 by x, this is 2x minus 3 by y is minus 3 y. This is our first component. Second, let us mention with green, with red, is 3x plus 2y. And as you can see, what we have done, product of matrix applied to uh, vector is this vector. 
And what we are uh, writing here, substituting A, V, is this guy, which is this vector, equal to the vector B, which is 10, 2. And you see, uh, uh, this system can be written in this form, which is uh, very similar to our linear equation. Therefore, in our next lecture, we shall clarify how we can solve the equation of this type and uh, what is the minimum of uh, this linear algebra that shall be needed uh, in order to have a qualitative study of our biomedical models. Especially, uh, we shall uh, see uh, differential equations that uh, are connected with uh, predator prey model, Lotka Volterra, or SIR model. They are always two, uh, reduced to two by two systems. But let me ask you for these matrices, uh, systems of this type, uh, do you have some uh, uh, something that uh, was done, or again, this was done completely forgotten. To me, I, I never saw that like this. I just substitute x with y in one and then substitute what I found in the other equation or other modes. Never use a matrix to do that. Well, I know how to solve that, but not in this way. Okay. Uh, then uh, I shall devote to this part a little bit um, uh, lecture notes and uh, of course we shall devote, uh, shall speak more about this because I think analysis one you know better, while this part that is crucial for our Lotka Volterra or SIR models uh, is something that uh, uh, we shall uh, try um, uh, later on without being in a hurry. We have enough time better to know less things. The plan is uh, to mm, uh, refresh and to give you ideas for a list of these things today I presented uh, and therefore we shall have a little bit modification in our plan. But the next uh, week I promise to put some lecture notes for uh, the part uh, connected with analysis. Shall see for the apart what kind of uh, thing uh, probably is better first to have introduction maybe lecture by me and then to put some lecture notes and once this part is done we shall go to system two by two systems of uh, biomedical um, uh, differentials this is more or less the plan okay so if you don't mind, uh, now I shall stop uh, the registration and uh, one moment. Yes, interrupt here.